Hello. Well, this is Laura. Hi. I just thought that... Now, I know, first of all, I want a disclaimer here. I know a lot of people are doing this, but I just filled this out, this application, and I thought maybe I'll just let everybody know, and I'll also leave a link down below where you can go look at some other... Um, similar or other work from home applications that you might want to fill out or check out or gigs or some are gigs and some are jobs some are tasks some are different things so there's another site that um has that does this quite a bit and i got the information from their site and their channel so i will leave it below but this one, I thought it was interesting, and I went ahead and filled it out. So it has, it's called My Tutor Lab. And it's really kind of neat because you fill out this application. I'm going to go ahead and click on Become a Tutor. And you have to put, you know, your name and all of that here. Now, what I, I don't like that you know, is everything anywhere nowadays is you don't know what's on, on the other screen until you s fill out all your personal information. I don't think that's right. I'm not going to put that ever on my site like that, but that's just, that's my opinion. I believe a person who's interested in something should be able to see the information and see what they have to provide and what the website wants mm -hmm. and stuff like that before they decide to give them their personal information. In this case, they have all of this and then after you fill that out, then you can go to the next page because if I click on next, it'll do all of that. And then you can't see what they want here, up here. I just filled it all out and what I did was I uploaded a resume and after I uploaded a resume I did not fill out any of the employment section because they have the resume so in the qualifications section they ask about your skills um, whether it be skills you know personally or whether it be something you've been paid to do you know um, or whether you have, I think they might ask about certifications, but you don't have to be a certified teacher to be a tutor, and that's what the idea is. If you're a tutor, you'll have to do that. And for extra skills, I put on there troubleshooting, critical thinking, learn how to learn. You know, there are other skills, I believe, that people should really focus on instead of just knowing how to do math or something like that they should focus on different types of thinking skills that they should practice every single day to help get their mind ready for our future in the world so Anyways, so that's what this is about, and I'm, I can't put all this now because I already did it. I'm going to click right over here to go back to the beginning. Maybe, maybe not. Or previous, maybe. Nope, that's not highlighted. It's gray. Sometimes on some of these websites, oh, it's, it's all by itself. Okay, never mind. Sometimes on all of the on some websites, um, a gray button works instead of doesn't work because that's the way the developer programmed it. It's pretty annoying, <laughs> but you know. Now, if you want to know more about this company, the best thing to do to start with is go to, I think. Well, you can go to how about or about us, read this, and let's see a blog. Okay, go through all of this, and 
go through the, how it works. And everything you're looking at is exactly what the person calling or the person you're tutoring or the parent of the person you're tutoring knows all about. So then you are on the same page that they are. Also, in the interview process, the more you understand all of this, uh, you know, the more that they will know that you represent the product when you are working with someone and you're tutoring someone, they'll know that you understand what you're doing um, in relation to representing the, the company itself. And, and then in the interview, they may ask you questions about your job experience and what's on your resume and the qualifications that you put down there. So be prepared. Don't put qualifications that you don't have. <laughs> Be prepared to, you know, put down qualifications you do have, and then when they ask questions, make sure you can explain them in a professional way. All right, so that is my tutor lab. Check it out. See what you think. Check the other link out down below. You might like some other work-from-home type of opportunity better. You can check that link out and uh, enjoy your time working from home or doing any type of work that you do, gig work, whatever it is. Uh, make sure and do it right and be safe. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, yes, wait. Please subscribe. I don't have any subscribers. I have 26 if you subscribe and then you comment, I will have a chance to take a look at your site and be able to, you know, return the same in return if we're like, you know, interactive and, and there's nothing wrong with subscribing with each other if, uh, you know, our interests align and that's the way it should be. But if I don't know you exist, I can't, you know, subscribe and know about your channel unless you subscribe to mine and talk to me in the, in the comment section. Um, that would be great, you know. And if you have some suggestions on other content, please let me know. And I will work on that. Also, if you do have those suggestions, please subscribe and write up these suggestions in the comment section. That would be great. And so we can be more interactive. A lot of times people subscribe and I see big numbers, but I feel like the people doing the videos don't actually talk to the individuals that are subscribing. I really would like to say hello and talk to you, maybe in a live stream, that would be nice. Maybe you could put when you're available for a live stream and maybe I can, you know, be available during that time. Things like that, being, you know, creative thinking, ways to interact with people who subscribe. I'd like to know. So, um, thank you so much. And I appreciate it and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.